Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing another look using my Tiny Marbles palette in collaboration with Sydney Grace. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It sold out the first day and I I can't thank you guys enough. The, I, I don't know how to describe what happened. Like the wave of emotions that came over me when it happened. It was like I cried. I laughed. I was hugging Puffin and I just, I don't know. It, it, I am so grateful. I am so, so grateful. Thank you all all of you for all the love and support. I love seeing all the tutorials everyone's doing, the reviews and the looks on Instagram. It's just so heartwarming to me. Now, while this did sell out, it is available for pre-order. We haven't decided whether or not this is going to be limited edition. I never wanted to say, oh, this is limited edition, run out and get it. I don't want to put any pressure on anybody. There's a restock. I don't know the exact date or anything like that, but I will leave the link for the pre-order down below, or if you'd like to just wait for the restock, that's cool too. Um, but yes, thank you guys so, 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 so much. Oh, I, I just, I can't thank you guys enough. You have no idea, no idea how much it means to me. Thank you from the very, 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 very bottom of my heart. All right, you guys, if you would like to see this look right here, just keep watching. I'm starting off with the color Jewel B on a Stelazi Color Blend L211. Beginning in the crease, back and forth windshield wiper motions. I'm making sure to go all the way to the outer and inner corner. And then I'm going to use circular motions to buff upward. Grabbing more product as I need it. And just FYI, I am working on an unset base. All I have set is right underneath my brow arch. And oddly enough, I'm using MAC Paint Pot, <laughs> the MAC Paint Pot, in uh, not painterly, in soft ochre. Um, I don't know why, I just all of a sudden wanted to try it out again. It's been so many years, and I had one that I didn't realize I had, so I opened it up. We are using that today. I want to make sure this is really blown out. So I'm taking my time and just going a little further up as I go. No product on the brush, but I'm taking the BK Beauty 203 and just going right around the edges of Jewel B. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Love Bug on a Sonia G Jumbo Blender. I'm first going to pack this on the lid. And then I am going to work it up into the crease and blending it in to Jewel B. Back in with Jewel B on the Stelazi L211. I just picked up a small amount and I want to just add a little bit of this back in right around the edges of Love Bug. Using the shade Love Bug, I'm taking the refer number three and I'm going to start stamping this right along the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take Jewel B on a Sonia G Mini Booster and just buff right underneath Love Bug. Going back in with the refer number three, I'm taking the shade Bugaboo. I'm stamping this right along the top of my lash line. I'm 
I'm also taking a small amount and pressing it right up against the lower lash line. Sonia G Flat Definer in the shade Marvel. I'm going to pop this on the inner corner. And then instead of using Web for a bright highlight on my brow arch, I'm taking the shade Drift from Sydney Grace and just lightly putting this on the brow arch with a rougher 21. I finished off the look with Wayne Goss's Obsidian Liner on the inner rim and mascara. That's it, beauty. Super simple, super quick, and easy to achieve. I love a purple blown out eye. It's like one of my favorite things. It's just, I don't know, it's so pretty to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Oh yeah, and I have a playlist just so you guys know if you wanna see some more of the tutorials using this palette there is a playlist. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.